When doing wudu, is it permissible to wipe on cotton socks or is it required to wash the whole foot? I've heard this was allowed, but only for leather socks in addition to other conditions. So it is allowed to wipe on cotton socks according to the madhab of Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal. And he's from one of the Imams of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The other three madhabs say no. And actually the opinion of Imam Ahmed appears to be stronger because the Sahaba would also wipe over their cotton, what were considered at that time cotton socks, with the following conditions. Number one, that it should be thick. Number two, it should not be trans, like you can see your foot under the sock. Uh, number three, that it's not torn. And this is the condition of Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal. And I say that this is actually a more relevant position because, for example, if you're in high school, I remember when I was in high school, there was a Muslim kid named Salim Salim. We called him Salam Salam because we couldn't say his name. Uh, until this day, I don't really know what the brother's name was. I need to go and make a lot of istighfar to him because I wasn't very nice to him in high school. And I remember, you know, one of the things was he was like foot in the sink guy because his foot was in the sink. And that is a good dawah. But when you're surrounded with people whose hearts are jacked up and they're, and they just, they're just very aggressive, we got to be honest, high school is a mess, man. You know, and they see you with your foot in the sink, like, in, unless you're able to hold your own really well, it's not going to go down well. And, and also at work, if you're wearing a suit uh, or you're dressed, say you're a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer somewhere, you can't get water all over your clothes. So one of the proper things to do, and it's perfectly allowed, this is called Talfiq Mahmud, by the way, is that you're allowed to take, and the Hanafis mentions very clearly, even Abidin in his Hashia mentions very clearly that you're allowed to follow any opinion from the four Imams that's found from Ahl Sunnah. So this is the Mu'tamad, as mentioned, the Manar as sabil I'm not Hanbali, but I was exposed to the Hanbali method somewhat, and I have a few friends who are Hanbalis. Uh, and this is the uh, strong opinion in the Hanbali school, and I think it makes more sense uh, if you're at school or at work. If you're making wudu first, and then you put on the cotton socks, you can wipe over your cotton socks, you know, for the rest of the day. And, and that, inshallah, Allah says that he didn't make in this deen any haraj, any hardship. And he said, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ يُسْرُ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمْ مَعْسْرُ Allah does not want hardship for you, He wants ease for you. يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُخَفِّفْ عَنْكُمْ Allah wants to remove the burden from you. So, wallahu alam. So, just I'll mention the answer again to make it clear. It's allowed to wipe over your cotton socks according to the madhab of Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal, which is rooted in the practice of certain Sahabi who did so. And that's what the conditions I mentioned. Number one, it should be thick enough. You need know, to talk about you can walk a certain distance and so on and so forth. Should be thick enough that you, know, you can't see the skin under the sock. Secondly, that you. Uh, that they're not ripped. Thirdly, that you put them on after you made tahara without breaking uh, the tahara the first time. Wa wallahu alam. They can be cotton socks. Any 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 type of any type of material. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. By the way, I am Hanbali, and we're open for business. Inshallah, ta'ala. if you guys want to sign up, just let me know. We're not as hard as you guys think we are. You know, in the Arab world, Sheikh, uh, they, they say, Tithambal Hash. Whenever you start talking uh, very strict, they say, don't make it too Hanbali. But as you can see, sometimes Hanbalis are actually easier than uh, the rest of them. So, uh, um, 